a computer. Got it. Okay, because if I don't do it on my computer, it goes to this random cloud place. Okay, so hi guys, let's chat about the business tonight. Um, I know many of you are have been in this business and you're trying to find business builders. Um, some of you are brand new. Some of you are, are dabbling, but you want to know how to do it, but you just haven't jumped all the way in. We all have varying journeys. That's just how this business works. And no one's business look exa looks exactly the same. And that is the beauty of it. And that's why we're all here tonight. Um, let me get back to my presentation. Um, okay, we're sharing the business tonight. Um, okay, so we, all right, I'm a little bit distracted by this bar. You guys can't see the bar, right? But I want to be able to see your faces. Okay, I'm going to put it down there. Perfect. All right, so let's talk about sharing the business. Um, people need this business. I know you guys know this. Um, we're all sharing something, so why not help people get paid for it? It's a mindset thing um, that we sometimes make bigger than it needs to be, um, but we are all selling something, and it, why not something that's working for a lot of people? Okay, so first things first, I want to talk about this month. I want to talk about what it looks like to go silver with the company. And actually, um, we have Carrie who was going to share with us. Oh man, Carrie's gonna talk with us about just how to get to silver, um, what that looks like, where those points come from. And I know we kind of all know this, but I stopped the share, right? My screen sharing is paused. How do I bring... How do I bring Carrie on as the main speaker? Why am I still hearing her if this is on silent? Okay. Your screen, I think you're still sharing. Okay. I think that when she starts talking, will she not pop up? Let me, let me do speaker view. I'll do speaker view. Okay, now when she starts talking, she'll pop up. Okay, so Carrie. Yes. You, so let me go, let me explain really quickly. Carrie came to me like any good leader, all leaders are learners. And she came to me and she said, I want to be competent in this business. I want to know where the stuff's coming from, how to get people. Like, I want to know. And I remember back when I first started, Jessica Heffley gave us this challenge to make a video explaining how you go silver, where the money comes from, what the points look like. And it stuck with me because I had to teach it. And I was like, okay, Carrie, here you go. Here's your opportunity. Um, and she did, she was very willing. She's willing to learn and she wanted to share with us and she's got a fun um, visual for you. I'm a very visual person. So take it away, Carrie. Yes, I'm a visual person. I'm a visual learner. Um, and first of all, um, I just want to put it out there that um, I'm blessed with really good leaders. Paige, Lauren, Sunny, um, Nick Clark, like, and I've been doing this for a couple of years, but I learn something new every time. And just here recently, there's been a lot of emphasis on setting a goal for myself to hit silver every month. If I hit silver every month, my business is going to grow. So, um, and that's what I want to encourage you all to do. We all know three people, right? And when you're speaking to, to a new customer, you know, to get them to silver, you know, remind them of that. You know three people, right? Whether it's a parent, a sibling, an aunt, uncle, best friend, coworkers, three people who need these products, all right? So I, can you all see my little board here that I drew? And sorry, I'm not artistic. I had to use stick people, okay? So me plus three, we've heard that a lot, right? The power of three. So when you start with yourself and you add three people, okay? If you're new, and this is how you can explain it to your new customers, right? You hit 
the first ring, silver. So you get a hundred dollars. If it's within, you know, they share the referral code and somebody purchases. So that start is when someone uses that referral code. And from that day, you have 30 days to get three people signed up to hit fast start. If you hit fast start, you're gonna get a double bonus, right? And then you all hopefully know what business builders and pay points are, all right? So for every person that we sell a welcome pack to, we're gonna get a business builder, a business bonus um, builder for $20 each, all right? And then pay points, all right? Each level one is worth six points. And I took the average of $2.65 um, per pay point. So 18, six times three at 265 between the business builders as well, you get 108 bucks. That's $308. I don't know about you guys, but that's a lot of money. And of course, with our October incentives, you help three people, you get a $150 e-card from Nike to customize your own shoes. So, or you can use it on apparel. Say I help three more people. I'm gonna get another incentive of $150 from Nike, all right? I'm gonna get an additional $108 from my business builders and my pay points, all right? Let's say I'm new and I wanna take it a step further, all right? Nine people. We know nine people that we can help, all right? All those people I just named off, all right? Then we'll hit the second rank, Senior Silver, where you get an additional $150. And again, if it's in the first 30 days for when you hit your first rank, or the first um, referral, used your link, you get a double bonus of $150. Don't forget your business builders and your pay points. Guys, that's $824. I don't know about you, and, and this is what I've been explaining to my new people too. That is a lot of Christmas gifts. A lot, all right? Plus $300, you know, that could be two pairs of tennis shoes or a lot of apparel from Nike. Again, either spoil yourself, spoil a loved one, or Christmas is gonna be really nice. So, um, and you know, just, well, talking from personal experience, I did, I, I, I guess maybe when I decided to dive into the business, I really didn't focus on truly understanding the compensation plan, you know, and it's very generous, very generous. And again, if you just focus on hitting silver every single month, your business is going to grow. By the way, all right, if you're talking to a new customer and you say, hey, there's six people that you earn or help earn get shoes, get them to earn, three, you know, just tell them, hey, earn three people, you get a free pair of shoes. And you're going to hit gold, fast start gold if it's within that 30 days. So that is a lot of cash. So I know most of you are, I mean, have been doing the business for a while. So I just, I really, really strongly encourage you to try to hit silver every month. It's really helped me grow my business since I really focus on that. I love it. Thank you, Carrie. Um, I'm, I'm really proud of you. I'm proud of you for doing that and um, for, you know, taking the time to make it click in your brain. Um, and I'm going to go back to um, my sharing of my screen, because I want to show you guys something else. Okay. I know, listen, that's a lot of money that they're share that she just shared. Right. But guys, I need you to understand. I, I need you to understand the power of three when it comes to the income opportunity for residual income in this business. These like earning potential graphics, like the one on the right, the October one, where it shows refer 17 and get $1,110. And sometimes that's, that can be motivating for someone. Absolutely. 
But I'm sitting here going, refer 17 people and get $1,100. And I, I feel like sometimes you guys feel like you're going to have to refer 17 people every single month for the entirety of your career. And that's just not true in order to get $1,110 because of how our compensation plan is set up. It is set up for residual income, okay? So when you guys are signing people up, you can have as many level ones as you want. I mean, think about when I first started, I, I focused on 40 I wanted 40 working 100 PV consistent level ones. And I told myself that of those, at least three of them surely are going to add three people. And then surely out of all of those people, at least three of them are going to add three people, right? And you see that little starburst over there. But what I don't like about the starburst is that it doesn't look like it's going to grow. But when you put it in a straight line, like a genealogy, like I'm a social worker, so we did family tree genealogies and you put them straight across the line and you just imagine that growing down when our first back office, you could, you could look at your family tree and just see how many people, how far down it can go. But I want you to look at that total points. If we're just being on a low end of $2.50 for the pay point, you're looking at $14,688 in pay points alone if all of your people added three people, okay? I just, I, I, I don't want you guys to think that you're going to have to be referring 17 people a month for the rest of your career. That's just, once you start building residual income and you get true business builders who want to do this with you too, you're not working like that. It's a, your work changes. It looks different. You're still recruiting. You're still doing the shooting for silver every single month. Leaders are still recruiting, okay? Um, but once you get the end of that residual income, the money grows and it keeps coming. You're not going to have to, I don't want you guys to be spinning your wheels. I want you to find true business builders. And that's part of why we wanted to do this is so that you could see the potential of building a deep, rich business with business builders. And in order to do that, guys, we have to talk about the business. We have to talk about it. And I am the worst. I much prefer just to have happy little product takers and them not feel uncomfortable. But Jessica Hethley did not care one tiny ounce about how comfortable I felt when she said, all right, when are you going to go silver? And I was like, oh, what? When am I going to what? And she did not care. She knew what this opportunity was. She knew what it was going to mean for me and me. Not, I didn't even have a family at the time. She knew what it was going to mean for me. And she said, all right, where's your three? Let's do this. And I think we've gotten out of the habit of doing that. So this is why we bring up this business building um, so that we can build legacy residual income businesses. Okay. Moving on, taking too long. I mean, can I just mention something too? Because you said something to me in the last couple of weeks that really triggered me as well. And it was when you asked me, you're like, Carrie, can you just give me a little snippet about how the business has changed your life and your family's life? And it really took me back because I'm like, you know, sure, I'm like, oh, I got this, you know, extra money or whatever. But I never really took the time to actually think about how the financial freedom has helped my family. I talk all the time about the products. Anybody who knows me, how much I love the products. And it just really was, you know, made me turn the curve. Like, I need to talk about the business. I need to talk about why our compensation plan is a blessing. Yes. And yes. it's, yeah, big difference. I love it. So um, we have a business challenge for you. Quite frankly, we are trying to find business builders this month. And so we're challenging you to do that. And here's what it's going to look like. This is what we have in mind for you. And we want to kind of break this down and, and uh, make it make sense. We're going to share some ideas of how to do it. This is your business. Keep this in mind. Um, so we want you to work at how you want to work it. But these are the things that we feel like are going to help you build your belief um, reach out specifically about the business and then get people interested about the business so that you can share 
why you love it, right? Okay, so we're looking at 10 business reach outs, 10 happy cup, happy customer reach outs. We're gonna share our about the business in our stories um, on Facebook or Instagram or both. We're gonna share our a business post at least once a week for the entire month. We're going to watch at least four docu diamond documentaries. We're gonna watch assigned business videos. We've got those for you lined out. And of course, we want to create a thread for you guys to comment in. And so if you see business specific business videos that you think are great, that you have learned from, we want you to put those in the chat. So, um, and then also we're going to have another business opportunity event online in a messenger thread like we did at the end of last month. We're going to have another one of those at the end of this month. Um, I've sent out the save the date, so hopefully you'll save those. But we want to invite at least 10 to that business event. Obviously, you can invite more, but we want you to be intentional. And we'll talk more about this in a second. So that's what it's going to look like. We are going to have prizes. So I want you to be bought in. I want you to do this for yourself, for your business, for residual income. Okay, so here's the recruiting reminders. I'm going to go really fast because we have a lot to cover. You get to choose who you message. I want you to remember that you get to message people that you just really want to do life with. Like fun people, people you're inspired by, people who make you nervous because they're so cool. I want you to message those people. Find people you want to do life with, okay? Go to Instagram and talk to people. Get to know them. There are cool people all around the world. And, and sometimes we just think on our small, uh, close friends and family, people we already know. I want you to think about all the millions of people in the world you don't know. We want to choose those people that we want to do life with. Number two, get it out of your mind. You are not salesy. You're not salesy. You have something to offer. Everyone has something to offer. We're all offering something. You are being a light to people. Okay. okay. Um, Come on. And um, number three, be authentic. We want you to sound like you. We want to make sure that these people know when you're messaging them that this is not a copy and paste message. This is from your mouth. It is personalized for them. It is from you. It sounds like you. There's not going to be any accidental, oops, I put the wrong name at the beginning because we're not going to copy and paste, okay? Hear me, we're not spamming people, okay? We don't want to do that. All right, number four, check their lives first before you send messages, okay? I want you to go scour their page. I want you to maybe even start your messages with, I hope this finds you doing well so they can tell you if they're not doing well. You know, sometimes things are bad or maybe they just posted that their cat died or whatever. You wanna know not to be messaging them during a hard time in their lives, okay? So check their lives first. Number five, start looking for pain points for their to start conversations. You guys know how to do this. Start the conversations naturally when you see that they have a need. Ask them if they want help with the thing that they're having problems with. That'll start the conversation. Easy peasy. Number six, assume people are the experts of their own lives. We're not telling people what to do. My therapist says, um, help not asked for is almost always perceived as control. We don't want to be controlling people. We don't want people to feel like we're pushing something on them. Assume that they're ex they are the experts of their lives. They're, they assume that they have tried a million things. Ask them about what they've tried. Ask them about how their life is going, okay? Don't assume that they haven't already tried Plexus, for one thing. Don't just go in there and be like, you need to try this, okay? <laughs> Number seven, build credibility by posting. We have to be posting and showing up consistently. Posting is not all there is. We have to be having conversations with people. And I don't just mean offering something to them. I mean having conversation, but by posting, that shows our credibility. That shows that we're all in um, and that we love what we do, okay? Number eight, be trustworthy. This is a relationship business, okay? Um, I'll wrap this in together. Make it an actual conversation. Be a friend. If they say no, friends keep talking. You don't just walk out the door. I want you to think about if you're walking into a grocery store or you ran into this friend of yours and 
you said something to them and you offered them something and they said no and you just walked away. <laughs> Could you imagine? No, because you're a real human and you wouldn't talk to people like that. So don't talk to people like that online. If you can't fathom saying what you're about to say to them in a message to them in person in front of them, then you probably shouldn't send it. You probably need to edit it and make it sound more like you, like a real conversation, okay? Next, this is an invitation. When we message people, we are inviting them to something. We are not giving them the full presentation, presentation, sorry for the typo. We're not giving them the full presentation right there in their messaging, okay? We are inviting them to something and we have events to invite them for it, And we're going to talk about those in just a minute. All right. Moving on, gotta go fast. So here are a couple business reach out ideas that you could use, not copy and pasting, you could use. This is one of Lauren's that she likes. Hey, Michelle, I know this may seem random or it may or may not be for you, but I often think about how great you would be at this type of business. You've been curious or have and have been curious if it's something you'd ever consider. You're genuine and honest. You have so much influence and you're fun to be around. I know you'd kill it. Is this something you've ever thought about? This is a perfect um, type of message you can send to figure out if people are curious, kind of a discovery message. Um, but you're specifically saying you would be great at this business. Okay, next. This is one that I uh, might send and it sounds like me. <laughs> okay, here's the deal. I have been watching how you do life. Is that creepy? <laughs> um, I'd probably send like a silly emoji and I'd say, and I see so much potential in you. You've got all the characteristics of someone who would be successful at what I do. I don't know if you've ever considered monetizing your influence, but if you ever get curious, will you please let me know? I'd love to do this business with you, but honestly, I just think you're cool and it would be fun to travel and do life with you. Again, we get to choose who we message. We get to choose. Um, no other job do you get to choose who you do your work with, right? But we get to. Um, so that's a, the, the monetizing your influence is a great one to use on Instagram because people are on Instagram trying to monetize their influence or trying to make money doing what they're already doing. Um, so I use this to reach out to people who, I, I learned this, who did I learn this from? Um, anyway, I'll think of him later. Oh, Frazier. Um, I can't think of his first name. Anyway, last name Frazier. Um, he said that most influencers are not making money on Instagram, but they have huge followings of people. They're just waiting for an amazing opportunity like ours to be able to bring in money. Also, just keep in mind, those influencers that are selling Amazon or using Amazon links or like to know or like to know link like to know it or whatever are making pennies, pennies on the dollar. If they saw what our compensation plan was capable of, they're going to be interested in what we have to offer, especially in when they love our products. So this is a great way to ask them if they want want to, right? To get, want to make more money doing what they're already doing. Okay, next. All right, here's another example. I think this one came from Jordan Roddenberry and we know that she is a master recruiter, okay? So she says, girl, you've been on my heart for literally six months now. These are, I, I love to reach out to people who have genuinely, do not send this if they have not been on your actual mind or heart, okay? Um, have been on my heart for literally six months now. I've wanted to reach out to you, but I've been way too nervous because one, we haven't seen each other in a while. Two, you are so connected and cool and fit and I'm just a big scaredy cat. Three, I care very much about your opinion of me. And I don't want you to think I'm a crazy toddler mom, okay? That is so real. People want real. I want to tell you what I think you would love. I want to tell you that I think you would love the products so, mm, typo, so natural and healthy, and you would kill the business side of Plexus if that is anything you'd ever want to take advantage of. You care so deeply for others. You are a hard worker. Those two qualities, qualities seriously go hand in hand with the climate of our team. Have you ever been curious about Plexus? Have you ever tried the products? Now, like Plexus has been around a long time. We cannot assume people don't, though there are still people out there who don't know what Plexus is. 
so many people, but we can't assume people haven't tried it. So don't assume people haven't tried it. Don't assume people haven't done the business before because they maybe have. So it's great to ask that question. Um, I wanted to say something about pointing out what qualities you see in people is wise because people often do not see those qualities in themselves. And it means a lot. And if you've had it, somebody do it to you, it means a lot to hear what qualities that you see, even, even if they hate the idea of this business and tell you no, you're still going to leave them feeling good because you gave them a compliment about what you truly see in them. So keep that in mind. Okay, so these are some great ideas for you to use to for your 10 business reach outs. 10 business reach outs, if you've been doing this business for long, you're like only 10 for the entire month. I know it's a low number, but that's because I want you to message scary people, scary people. I want you to message people who you really want to do this with. I don't want these to be here and there, anyone and everyone. I want you to put serious thought into who you reach out to and do 10 solid, vulnerable, scary, out of your comfort zone reach outs, please. That's what the 10 number is for. If you want to do 20, 30, 50, 100, that's a, that's a lot. A hundred is a lot in a month. But if you want to do that, please go ahead. But make 10 of those the most intentional reach out reach outs you've ever done. Okay. All right. Moving right on along. All right. So they're interested. Now what? Lauren, you want to share? Yep. Okay. So we don't want to just leave you there because we know that um, getting the interest, right? Reaching out to those people is so important, but we want to make sure you're set up for what comes next after that. So you have somebody that's interested. First of all, if your people tell you no, don't be discouraged. Honestly, we're expecting a lot of no's from your reach outs, okay? But you are planting seeds and you never know where those seeds, when the time is gonna be right for them, that they decide that they wanna connect with you again because you've already shared with them, you've already reached out to them and they know that you would be somebody that they'd work with because you've shown interest in working with them. So don't be discouraged by the no's. They're often no, not right now when you get those. But if you do have somebody who is interested or curious, um, we've got some things for you to share. First of all, share video. Um, we've got some options for you for some great videos. And actually these are gonna be posted um, at the top of our page. We'll pin them and Sunny will have them on her page as well um, so that you can go watch these videos. Two of them um, have been created. One of them is Shay Jones. If you're familiar with her, the messy upgrade on Instagram. Um, she made a great video with some of her downline and it just kind of showcases a little bit about the products, what they did for her and her um, um, a few of her girls, but also the business. And it's just a glance. They're really well done. And it's a great, if they're open, um, to hearing more then these videos are great. There's another one that is very specifically geared towards the business. We'll have it posted. It's by Laura Robinson, or if you want, you can watch these and create one of your own videos. If you would like to make it personal to you. Okay. But sharing a, a short, now don't send them a 20 minute video because if they're curious, they're probably not at the point yet where they're going to want to sit down and, and watch a 20 minute video, but these are short and simple and to the point and, and I think powerful. So you can send the message. Awesome. I would love to share more. Do you have a few minutes to watch this video? Let them watch the video. You can check back in with them and you can even tell them I'll check back within you or I'll check back with you um, sometime this evening. And so they can, they know that you're expecting them um, and they'll watch the video and you can to go on from there. So they watch the video and they're like, yeah, that, that could definitely be something I think I could benefit from. I would definitely want to learn more. Or maybe they're like, I'm all in and that's great. And you can get them joined. Uh, but if they're not, invite them to an event. Um, we have two options. So at the end of the month, well, I'll tell you about YPlex this why now. First, corporate host six times a week, why Plexus Why Now calls. And these are great because if you're talking to somebody, um, you know, today and it's Tuesday, you can get them on a call that day. These calls are Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday at 11 a.m. and 8 p.m. Central. So you always have the option to get on these calls or to have them get on these calls. The link is the same. So you can save the link to your um, notes and shoot a link to people when they're open to hearing more, when they want to hear more. These calls are great. They're done by corporate. They go a little bit into the products and the business. Um, I feel like they're very real and natural and a great way to get people plugged in, especially with corporate. Um, they can kind of see what this company is all about. I feel like Plexus, they know how to do it. They know how to share. They know how to get people interested. Um, so take advantage of these calls. I don't know if you know Cassie Howard. She is 
Um, under Jessica, under Chris Casey, actually, she is an emerald. She had lost rank and she has worked her booty off and re-ranked Emerald. She earned Hawaii again. She's on a roll. She actually came out today in an email as the top business builder bonus um, earner in the company, number one. And she is taking advantage of these calls. She is constantly getting her prospects and her team to get on these why Plexus, why now calls, which is great. Work smarter, not harder, right? Plexus is doing the work for you. You just got to plug them in and make those connections. So get them plugged into a why Plexus, why now event. And towards the end of the month, it's a th the last Thursday of the month, it's October 27th. Um, we are hosting our own messenger event. Is it messenger study, right? Um, opportunity event. Okay. So another way just to plug them into our own personal team. So if we get closer along in the month, further along in the month, um, that's another great opportunity to plug them into. So even if you're, you know, using this stuff in the future, look on the calendar and see if there are opportunity calls that your team is hosting, but you always have the YPlex this one now calls and those are great. Okay. Um, next slide. Okay. 10, cus 10 happy customer reach outs. We'll talk about this more next week. Um, next week's call is going to be, we'll share a little bit more information, but also it's an opportunity for us to come back together and you tell us your wins for the week. What's working? What have you learned? What's an aha moment you've had? Um, what's something you're struggling with and still need more guidance on? So we want to see you again next week, but we're going to talk more about these happy customer reach outs and Raise your hand if you started just for the products and not the business. Okay. I know we can't see everybody, but I did. I think Sunny, right? You, you joined mostly maybe for the products. Um, I know the majority of the people who were working on my team started with the products. And so we have a great opportunity because you likely already have a team um, of happy product takers. So we're going to show you some ways to intentionally and authentically reach out to your happy product takers. And open up the possibility of what it would look like if they decided to share. So we're going to share more about that next week. So focus this week, if you can, I really be intentional about those business builders, um, those messages. And then next week we'll, we'll tack on customer reach outs. Okay. Okay. Social media. I actually gave my team a warning because some of the stuff we've been doing does not align with algorithms on Facebook that we're learning. And so I've already given them a warning text that I'm the messenger. Don't shoot the messenger. But I want to share some things with you about social media. Um, you are going to be sharing at least twice a week in stories about the Plexus business, okay? At least once a week, you're going to be sharing a post uh, to your feed, like an actual post. Sunny's already tapped in on this a little bit, but consistency breeds credibility. We have heard that over and over again. You have to share about the business. If you want credibility about, with the business, if you want people to trust you with the business, if you think people, if you want people to think you're intentional about helping people grow their own business as well. And so it is imperative that we're posting something that I slacked on. I think I got a little bit, um, I did a lot of cold messages to be quite honest at the beginning of my Plexus business seven years ago. Um, I did a lot of cold messages and later on, even though I didn't love doing cold messages, I thought that's what I had to do. I felt so icky about it that I just stopped messaging people completely. And I was really good about messaging people about the business. And you know what happened when I did that? <laughs> My business really slowed down. I stopped recruiting business builders. Um, we were having people go silver all the time, but when I stopped being intentional about reaching out to people about the business, my business stopped growing. And so it's two parts. You have to be sharing about the business though, because the credibility, but you gotta be reaching out too. You can't rely just on reaching out about the business and you can't rely just on posting on social media for the business. You have to be intentional about both. Um, but a lot of times I hear people say, but I don't know what to post about the business. You should always be looking for an opportunity to solve a problem that your audience has. And y'all, there are a lot of opportunities and ways that we can solve problems for people right now, because people are struggling with so many things, but finances being one of them. Okay. And maybe it's people feeling like things are tight and there's uncertainty. A lot of people feel uncertainty. My husband came home yesterday um, and he's in construction in middle Tennessee. And there's kind of this bubble in middle Tennessee, everybody, there's so much construction. There's so many people moving here. Everybody's been like, there's a bubble. We should be good. Should we hit a recession or should things slow down? And third quarter numbers came out yesterday and, um, they're extremely low businesses are cutting back on their building supplies and um almost every major builder in middle tennessee 
cut in the past three weeks, their, um, their builders got fired, at least 50% of the company's builder got fired in many of the major uh, construction companies. And so it's brought uneasiness to, to my husband. Um, and to me, I'm grateful that I have this opportunity because I know, I know even sometimes in a downturn economy, um, these businesses thrive. But there are people who are struggling with all kinds of different things. Some, some moms just really wish they could get their nails done every month. Okay. It's not like thousands and thousands of dollars. Some people just wish they had an extra $50 a month. Some people are paying out the wazoo for travel ball and dance and gymnastics. Some people um, are single income and it's hard to live by yourself on a single income right now. I feel like that's, that could be struggle. So I want you to think about your audience and the people you want to reach and what are the struggles that they're having and what solution do you have for them? And so when you're thinking about how can I post about the business or I'm not a jewel, you don't need to be worried about being a jewel. You need to focus on how can I help my audience? What problem do I have to solve for them and start creating your post, you know, geared towards that, towards solving a problem for them. Can I okay. add something real, real quick? Yes, please do. Okay. So if you say, do you want to build a business with me? People are like, no, I want to watch Netflix. Like, mm -hmm. <laughs> so don't say, do you want to build a business with me? Say, do you want to feel more free? Do you want to not go to bed worrying about your, your income? Girl, do you want to go to Florida with me? Or you want to go to Florida? Yeah, we're going to Destin, right? Do you want to go to Florida with me? Do you want to go to Hawaii or Mexico on a luxury vacation? And they're like, well, duh. How do we do that? Oh, well, do this with me. That is as simple as it, as it can get. Jessica Heffley posted jumping in front of her car that she had paid it off a whole year early. I was drowning in college debt. I needed to be able to pay things off early. The thought of having any extra money to put toward my college loans was a relief thought for me as a, I had a really good job and a really great social work job. And I should have not have had to be paying income-based repayments for my loans, but I had to. And so somebody posted about a pain point that I had, and I got really curious, so curious that I watched every post she made. And they were long back in the day, went like long posts. And I read them all. I looked at all of the comments. I read all of it because I was super curious. So if we leave super curious people hanging, they're going to be laying there hanging and they're going to be waiting for somebody else to give them an answer for their pain point. So I just wanted to share that we don't want to say, do you want to build a business? Because no, that does not sound fun at all. But yeah, yeah, I do want my pain point relieved. So anyway, all right, I'm done. All right, next slide. <laughs> okay, so let's talk about algorithms and your people seeing your stuff and um, you seeing, hey, okay, baby, hey, hop down. You need to go, go, go. <laughs> no, not right now, sorry. Um, yeah, we want people seeing your stuff and we want you seeing your people stuff outside of Plexus. Hey, I love you, baby. Just down right now. Hey, hey, you about to get in trouble. Go, go, go. Um, okay. Sorry. My husband, of course, has gone tonight of all nights. Um, yes, I'll try this again. Okay. We want people seeing your stuff, but also you want to be seeing your audience outside of Plexus and their post. So let's talk about some of the things that we've learned. Um, first of all, and this may be a surprise. I feel like I was curious. I was excited to see these numbers, but I was surprised by them. Only one in five posts that you make should be about Plexus, okay? So that means that for every five posts, one of them can be about Plexus. The rest of those posts need to be about your niche or the value you're adding or um, posts that are personal to you and your life, okay? And the idea behind that is you don't want people to be so overwhelmed that they mute you. Absolutely. And you know, a lot of people say, I don't wanna be salesy. And so, People are following you and are friends with you on social media because you were sharing something they liked, whether that was, you know, for me, it's more personal on Facebook and my family and that sort of stuff. And on Instagram, for me, it's more recipes and cooking. And they came to me because they wanted to see those things. So if all of a sudden that switch is off and my plexus switch is on, what the reason they were following me is kind of like, eh, it's not there anymore. You want them to want to continue following along sprinkling in those bits about Plexus, okay? So one in five posts should be about Plexus. You should only be posting 
to your Facebook or Instagram feed once, max twice a day, okay? With the algorithm, if you're just constantly churning out posts, it's almost like it dilutes your presence, okay? And you don't want your presence to be diluted. You want to be strong. And so you should only be posting on Facebook or Insta Instagram once a day. Create, this is um, a little information. It's weird because we get different information sometimes. You know, we were at convention and he said reels every single day. But Gen Viev said the algorithm right now, two reels a week, one live per week, okay? So sometimes we just have to be fluid and willing to change as things change. And that should maybe be a relief to you. It was a relief to me. Two reels, I could do two reels. Much easier than seven reels a week, okay? Okay, this next one hurts a little, right? Unfollow your Plexus friends and stop group commenting on my on post. Now I had my team on our IPA challenge you could pop a link in our group chat and everybody will comment on it. Okay, Jen Viev says, no, this is not what we should be doing. For one, like I said earlier, that's just going to create you only seeing your Plexus friends post. And also uh, you're not going to be seeing the audience that you need to be watching because you wanna see their pain points. You wanna see the things, the ways that you can help them. And you can't see that if all you're seeing is your Plexus sidelines um, and teams. And so, you don't have to unfriend them, but I want you to try it for two weeks, okay? Unfollow those sidelines. I know we can still go in and check in on people and, and love on our people, uh, but unfollow your sidelines and really un be intentional about when you see a Plexus person post, you know, you can unfollow. Now you may have two or three people who are like, oh man, they give me so much inspiration. I love watching them. That's fine. But unfollow everybody else so that you can create an audience that is going to help grow your business and that you can be intentional with. Okay, same with group commenting, okay? With the exception of somebody's first post, of course, we want our teams to all go love on that post and encourage them or, you know, rank up posts or if we're shouting out somebody on our team for doing something, let's all go celebrate them. But on a daily basis, we shouldn't all be commenting on each other's posts, which I know is hard and doesn't feel right, but let's give it a try, okay? <laughs> Okay. Um, okay. Was that the last one? Oh yeah. Algorithm favors faces over graphics. The algorithm does not want to share graphics. And I know, I know that there's some girls who make like beautiful graphics. You can even pay like a monthly fee. Um, and I think sometimes adding those into stories, maybe after you've already shared personally, adding those in is great, but I wouldn't post, I, we don't want to get in the habit of just constantly having commercials essentially or graphics that we're sharing instead of our own personal stuff, the way we're using the products, the way we're benefiting from the products, the way we benefit from the business. Because if we're trying not to be salesy, then we need to show up as ourselves and not just posting graphics that somebody has fed us because that doesn't feel personal and there's no connection there with you and that person. Um, especially though in post, just don't post the graphics at all in post. Show your face, take a picture, you don't have to do fancy stuff. You don't have to have the world's most beautiful photos, but show up as you and your authentic self and your authentic, your kitchen and your glass, <laughs> you know, whatever, your smile. That's what people want to see. Um, so really focus on your own photos or photos over graphics. Absolutely. Uh, one more thing. Yep. Um, I follow Social with Carrie and she talks about making our pages bingeable. Mm -hmm. So we like to show up to um, pages that, that we like all the content. Mm -hmm. So we want to make it super bingeable. Like, I just want to go there and like watch all of her reels because she's hilarious and she shares this and oh, she has something that's going to help me with my acid reflux. Mm -hmm. Oh, she just made what this month? I'm sorry, what? So we catch them binging our information and then they also get Plexus and the cells happen in the story. So that's why we say like, you want to be having conversation in stories. That's where we grab people. That's why um, posting graphics in your stories is great, but get on there and share your face and put a sticker link in there so people can interact with you. That is where cells happen is in the stories. Yeah. And when Sunny says a sticker link, let's talk about that. So um, if you're on stories and you've ever seen like the slider bar that says like, if you, I don't even know, but where you slide your finger across and it's like hundred percent or a yes or no question or a poll, those are all interactive. Um, and, it, and it helps people see your stuff again. And there's probably lots of other reasons why you should do this so you can tell you about, but it helps with that interaction, um, on your stories. Okay. 
the next thing, Diamond Docs. So I don't know if you're familiar with Diamond Documentaries, but once you hit Diamond, Plexus sends a film crew out to you um, to film about your story and your journey from the bottom to the top. And so these are really belief building. Also, I think sometimes in our heads, we get this preconceived idea of what a diamond is or like where they came from or all the influence or popularity or background that they must have. And I think watching these diamond documentaries is eye-opening, but also helps you relate like, oh, she's like me. She was a teacher. She was struggling. She didn't have, she wasn't on social media. Like she wasn't an expert in how to do this. And she learned and look where she got. Okay. So it's important to watch those. Also, you might watch a diamond documentary and you're talking to a friend later and she has, she sounds just like this diamond documentary girl you were talking about. She has, um, you know, this struggle or she came from here and that gives you an opportunity to say, Hey, you know what? Um, after you started the conversation, I think I have a video I would love to share with you. Um, it's a teammate of mine who has gone diamond, who has a very similar background to you. Would you be open to watching it? And you can shoot to them and then they can, they can connect, which is huge. This is all about connection. So give them the opportunity to connect. So you'll be watching four to access these. You can go to Plexus Worldwide's YouTube page. Um, and then just click on playlist and diamond documentaries are all grouped together. It's super easy. You can scroll through. And if you want to check out your uplines, diamond documentary, Sunny has a diamond documentary that just came out recently. Um, Jessica Hefley, Tamara Holloway, Nicole Kinsler, Suzanne Clinton, and Celeste Gwynn all have diamond documentaries. So if you want to see like what, what your upline is like, even a documentary, you can send to a friend and say, Hey, this is part of my upline here with Plexus. Um, you can share those. They're great. Okay. We also grabbed four videos we think are super beneficial. I don't know if you've been on my team, we were trying to watch something, 10 minutes of something daily. So some of these are longer. Um, you can break them up if you want, or you can sit down one day and work through them. They're so beneficial. There's lots and lots of value and content and like easy to apply pieces, nuggets of information that they share in these videos. They were, they were thoughtfully picked out because they're so good. Um, and so I'll have them linked, but they're, you know, Emily Gibson, Jordan Ronberry, Brittany Howard, and Cassie Howard. They're all a little bit different, but they all share great information. So we'll link those throughout the month. We want you to watch these four videos. Okay. Awesome. Um, guys, I need you to know, you can listen to any YouTube video on faster speed. If you are not watching your videos at one and a half or two times speed, you are wasting your time. I mean, some of these you want to go slower and write down what they're saying, but when you are out on a walk, I, I go walking in the morning, pop one of those videos on, listen two times speed. A long video just became so much shorter and you're still getting the content. Go to the little um, gear up at the top right corner and it's playback speed. And you can change that to be faster. I just changed your life, I know. Yes, she taught me that this past week. And game changer. I listen to all my videos now on high speed. <laughs> all right. Um, sharing about the biz, inviting people to the business event. We're going to talk more about that event. I think we said that earlier um, and some specific ways you can be reaching out and talking to people about that event. We'll talk about it next week. Okay. So we've created this PDF. It's just a checklist. Hey, this is so cool. Especially if you're on my team and every day you print out a new IPA sheet. This is your IPA sheet for the entire month. So I would recommend printing it out if you can. Um, and as you're going through, and you can do this in whatever order you want to do this in, it's great. It's not super overwhelming, but this is your task for the month that we want you to complete. It's what we said, there'd be prizes for drawings. We want you to fill this out. So simply your 10 business reach outs, your 10 happy customer reach outs. You can check off your social media and stories, write down who's diamond documentary you watched in case you want to go back again or share that with somebody. Um, checking off the training videos that we've shared, the people that you've invited to your business. I also would love for you as the week goes on and you have a win or an aha moment, or um, you're just really excited because somebody you were scared to reach out to said they were open to the business. I want you to write these wins down because sometimes we get in our head, like a win is a rank up or a win is signing somebody, but there's so many wins to celebrate along the way. And you just getting out of your comfort zone is a huge win. And I want you to celebrate that and pat yourself on the back because a lot of people aren't willing to do that. So we want you to write those down. We want to celebrate those together um, when we get together for our team calls. So make sure to include that. Um, these will be in a PDF format. We will post to the team page so you can print them. And yeah, we covered it all.
I think so. Wow. Okay, I had a few other thoughts. I want you guys to, I love the idea of printing this off and writing these names down because I am a visual person. And mm -hmm. if I don't write their names down somewhere, they are gone. And I am focused on feeding a baby or getting laundry done or my next reach out or my current customer. And I'm not thinking about the ones I reached out to 60, 30, 60, 90 days ago. And I need to be interacting with them. Remember, I'm still their friend, even though they told me no. So I need to be interacting with their life. So write them down somewhere. Don't let filling this out be the thing that keeps you from doing it. Okay. Screenshot it, fill it out on your phone print it out, make it easy for you. This should not be complicated, okay? Just do the things because um, I want you to keep this affirmation in your mind, okay? Remember that what you do now, we will reap rewards from 90 days from now, okay? It may feel like you're spinning your wheels. You may be discouraged. Part of your week one wins might be that you just realized that I've been holding myself back because I don't want to have the feeling of not being successful. That is a win, okay? That is self-awareness that moves the needle forward in your business because you keep showing up more when you're aware of what's been holding you back, okay? Um, I have been in coaching myself and I have had so many wins that are in the form of losses. And I have learned and moved forward because I'm paying attention to what's going on in my head. Also, I want you to know that the energy you bring to the table will be matched. Okay, what I mean by that is if you go into these messages believing that God's going to send you people who need this, if you go into this believing that you're going to be a shining light to people, they're going to feel that in how you reach out. Your confidence will be met. There are sociological studies about this, that it is a self-fulfilling prophecy in how we speak to people they bring back to us. If we bring skepticism to them, they will give skepticism back in spades. Trust me, I've been there. I've done that. So when you're reaching out, I want you to do it with the confidence that you can be bringing home tens of thousands of dollars a month with this business multiple hundreds of thousands of dollars a year with this business. And I want you to bring that to people knowing what they can do with that amount of money. It, 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 it's life-changing. That's all there is to it. It's life-changing. Um, so bring that energy to the people that you're reaching out to with this. And I'm, I'm, I need you guys to know that I'm very invested in how your reach outs go. <laughs> I want to know how it goes. I want to be excited with you. I want you to message in the thread. I just did a scary one, you know, so we can cheer you on. That's where we're going to encourage one another is in the message thread. So if you want in, I need you to comment um, here or later. We will, uh, I'll make a chat on the Light, Hope and Health page. And you can go there and you can say, I went in the chat, let's do this. I accept the challenge. And there are prizes at the end of this. I mean, we're talking $50 gift cards that can be yours just by doing the things you already wanna do, okay? It's gonna be fun. I'm excited. I'm ready to see you guys get competitive with yourself and um, do things that you know that you already want to do. Um, and we will help hold you accountable to what you want to do already, okay? Um, we have just a few minutes left. I want to hear, do you guys have questions? Um, I have to. Yeah. Well, I just know I have been in positions. I remember specifically sitting on my bed and I was living in a different house and Jessica Heffley was doing a challenge kind of thing, kind of similar to this. And I just remember thinking like, I don't really want to do this. <laughs> like, I know I need to do this. I know it's what I need for my business. I just don't feel super motivated to do it but I made myself do it. And it wasn't until I got into action that I started to feel the excitement of doing it. And so if you're not in a place where you're like, 
super <laughs> excited or motivated, if you don't feel motivated, just a reminder that you have to get into action to feel that yes. motivation. And that's typically what breeds the excitement. And then you are so proud of yourself because you got out of your comfort zone or you did something you didn't want to do and you see the, the benefit and the reward from it. And that's what creates the motivation to keep you going. So I don't know where you're at, um, but I have been on the end of this where I was like, this is not what I want to do, but I know it's what I should do. And I just encourage you to jump in with that. Absolutely. Questions? Concerns, complaints, that's what I that's what I say to my class. What kind of complaints do you guys have? <laughs> Let's hear it. Any questions, thoughts? I'm excited to do it. I'm just like so tired right now. <laughs> so, Lauren, I appreciate that. I know like once I start doing it and I make it kind of a routine and I have it, um, then it gets easier. And so. when you get to celebrate those wins. Oh, yeah, that, too. Yeah. that helps too. Just tonight after like 19 kindergartners and we're like four days in, I'm like totally spent right now. Mm -hmm. So I'm looking at this and it's like kind of mind numbing, but it's still kind of exciting at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And that's what, that, what we didn't want this to be so overwhelming. We just want you guys to get into action. Anything you do is going to move the needle forward if we stay consistent in doing it. And it's way more fun to do it with people. I just want yeah. to encourage everybody, set intentional time, you know, each day, whether it's 30 minutes or an hour, set intentional time for yourself to do this. And it doesn't have to be the same time every day. You don't want to overwhelm yourself. I can speak from personal experience, mm -hmm. you know, don't feel like it's you got to work it all day, every day, make intentional time. You'll be more or, successful. Or just like fit it in the things that you're already doing. Habit stack. That's what atomic habit says. So when you go sit down to poop, maybe you're a quick pooper. I don't know. All you need is a quick second, right? To message someone. So uh, maybe this month we all just message people while we're pooping. Okay. That's how we're going to get stuff done, right? We don't need it. We've already got that set that time set aside. <laughs> it just needs to be a little amount of time. <laughs> yeah. Like with my whole teaching and being full-time, like all of that, my work time, my quiet time is when I'm in the bathtub. Mm -hmm. That's like when my own kids are like locked out of the room for 15 minutes mm -hmm. and I get on my phone and I'm like, I'm, I have to work while I'm in the bathtub. So yep. it's all worth it. It's all worth it. What else guys? Questions, thoughts? I'm excited for you guys. I'm excited to do this with you because I am doing this with you. This is my accountability. I've learned a lot about myself. Um, I'm reading just sidebar the book, um, The Four Tendencies by Gretchen Rubin. And I have learned a lot about my tendencies of what happens when I'm met with the expectations. And I'm really good at meeting out our expectations. I will show up for you guys all day, every day. Will I show up for myself? Only if I have somebody that's expecting me to show up for me. So I'm doing this with you guys. Okay. I want to build my business builders just like you guys do. Um, so we're in it together. Okay. Thank you guys for being on. Look at, look at us. It's only 903. We did it in an hour. I'm so proud of us. Thank you guys for being on. Get some great rest. Um, wrap your mind around this and um, share. I will post the recording as soon as I get it up. Please share this with people who weren't able to get on. If you think of someone, you're like, they, they, they need this, share it with them. Okay. Um, that's another way that we can build our business. Okay. Bye guys. Have a great night.